Hi, I'm Deb Blaber from EMS Consultants. And hi, I'm Karen Millward, Director of Karen Millward Consulting Services. And we'd like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the lands right across Victoria, whose land we're meeting on today, and pay our, our respects to the elders past and present. In the next 10 minutes, we're going to introduce you to some tips and techniques to help you successfully manage a project and how to evaluate whether the pro your projects and programs have been worthwhile. Deb and I have been working with organisations for many years, helping them to develop really effective projects and programs. And over the last 20 years or so, we've also um, been helping dozens of organisations and their funding bodies evaluate their impact. In the next 10 minutes, we will share with you what we've learned, what works and what gets in the way of good project management and evaluation. What I've noticed, Karen, is that the terms project management and evaluation are often not understood very well and that's because I think the language itself is quite strange and doesn't often fit in our not-for-profit organisation situations. Project management historically has come out of the corporate sector and it's also evolved over time. So terminology about project management systems and processes and what's involved in project management has also changed. It's no wonder the language can seem strange and not really fit what we're doing in not-for-profit organisations in terms of delivering programs and services. Just for example, look at the board behind me and the dozens and dozens of words that you would find if you do a, an internet search on the terms project management and evaluation. Words like creative assets, project architecture, project initiation, critical path analysis, strategic synchronisation, KPIs. These are all words that you'll find in project management documents and um, uh, guidebooks. So what do they all mean? How do they relate to each other? And how do you put them into action? Do you need to do all of them to successfully manage a project? Well, what we're here today to do is to introduce you to some simple ways of thinking about project management and evaluation and let you know and assure you, you don't need to know all of this. We're going to talk to you about five basic steps in project management. 